live in a world where the idea of love is fed by a happily ever after. Our perception of what should and should not be is completely skewed by what we have learned in media. The typical pattern of intense passion and emotions, a conflict that makes us fight for that godforsaken love, and then the resolution of being together forever. We see any romantic or sexual interests outside of that relationship as immoral, and that we must constrain ourselves for this one love for the rest of our lives. But is there such a thing as your one and only love? Is it not possible to love more than one soul? This question has resulted in cheating, divorce, resentment, conflicts, and a lot of lying. Is monogamy the only way to be in a loving relationship? More and more people are finding healthy relationships inside consensual, non-monogamous relationships. In actuality, the cultures that only accept monogamous relationships are in the minority worldwide. According to a paper in the Journal of Evolutionary Biology, 83% of societies allow polygamy. At Psych2Go, we're bringing you the eight signs polyamory may be right for you. The first sign is that you have always felt limited and confined in conventional relationships. It's not the person you're with that's making you feel confined, it's the situation. Have you ever felt like you're no longer acting as an individual, but always thinking about being faithful to your partner? And you can't help but think, does this come from a place of love, freedom, and security? Or does it come from a place of ownership, jealousy, and fear? Sign number two is that you learn so much about yourself through others. Relationships are fun, yes, but they are also incredible opportunities to learn and explore different aspects of yourself. Each person is a universe, and both negative and positive experiences that we venture in with them are a journey to learning and growing individually as a person. If you are limited to only one relationship, there may be aspects of yourself you are neglecting. Sign number three is that you are the kind of person who feels energized by other people. Does diving into experiences with people outside of your primary relationship nurture, energize, and refresh you? Do you feel energized and refreshed after you have an innocent yet perhaps a little flirtatious coffee with someone from the opposite sex whilst in a relationship? This does not have to imply any physical engagement. An innocent lunch date is enough. In a polyamorous relationship, you are free to flirt have fun, and share your experiences with other people in any way you desire. Sign four is that you like to constantly challenge yourself in order to grow. The most common reason for people rejecting an open relationship is jealousy. They would rather not deal with the intensity of jealous feelings they would get with the very imagination of their partner engaging with someone else. But what if polyamory will teach you to be less jealous and to love with complete freedom? Would this not be like taking an entire weight off of your shoulders? This experience, while still being a very difficult one, will teach you to love someone. Fear, jealousy, and possession are not things that come from a place of love. Consider it a love boot camp. Sign number five is that communication and honesty are very important things for you. You can't stand lying about anything, and let's be honest, most people feel safer not admitting to their partners that they may be interested in or attracted to someone else. They may also not feel safe about telling their partner about certain friendships for fear of jealousy. You are the kind of person who would rather be open about these difficult topics and feel safe in approaching them with your partner. You think it's best and healthier to tackle the situation and finding a compromise that makes you both happy. If there is something forbidden to us, we will only want it more. If we feel free to be with somebody else, then the initial excitement of that forbidden fruit is gone. Sign number six is that you don't like living life by society's rules and tend to question everything. You are not one to follow social constructs of what should and should not be. You often find yourself questioning these impositions made on us. Polyamory is instantly rejected by society and almost seen as a threat to normal relationships and normal family life. However, you prefer to live an experience for yourself before deciding your opinion on something, as opposed to following everybody else like a sheep. Sign number seven is that you trust your love and connection with this person more than anything. You don't think that seeing someone else could possibly take away from your love and devotion to your partner. If anything, it might even strengthen your appreciation for them. If the connection you have is authentic, then it is really hard for that to just go away with the introduction of someone new. 
Sometimes we just enjoy someone new in our lives, but that does not mean we want them to ever replace our partner. And finally, sign number eight is that you are aware that we can love more than one person and feel attracted to more than one person. If we learn to accept that one person cannot fulfill every desire that we have, then we will immediately resent our partner less and appreciate them more. If we decide to allow ourselves and our partners to fulfill things we can't through someone else, we are making them happy, and that, my friend, is love. Thank you for watching this video, and hopefully these signs helped you see if you'd potentially be open for a polyamorous relationship, or if you're more happy in a monogamous one. Let us know if any of these signs relate to you in the comments, and any videos you might like to see next.